Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Many maritime workers are injured on ships, drilling platforms, or in ports as a result of the equipment's negligence. Human error is one of the biggest challenges in ensuring the health and safety of maritime workers. While mistakes are bound to occur, many equipment related injuries are the result of negligence. Unfortunately, negligence continues to be a leading factor in Houston maritime accidents. Equipment operating negligence can include the following Fedigu, two to one working horse or lack of sleep, lack of attention, inexperience with equipment, inadequate training, poor communications among workers. Impaired workers, risky or poor decision making, lack of trains to safety regulations, negligence practice like inadequate employee trainings, failure to take proper safety measures, and having insufficient crew members assigned to work with a piece of equipment can lead to devastating consequences for maritime workers and their families. A failure to operate the equipment safety can result in explosions, fires, electrocutions, mechanical failures, workers being struck or crushed by machineries chemical explosives and falls. Many of these accidents are preventable with a proper safety practice and precautions. Next about common injuries caused by equipment operating negligence. It is oh, the obligations of maritime industry employers to provide a safe working environment with mean providing maritime workers with the appropriate equipment and trainings. When a maritime industry employers or a company the employers works with the fails in that obligations, the consequence can be devastating for workers and their families. Common injuries sustained in equipment operating negligence cases include mild, moderate, or severe traumatic brain injuries, crushed or amputated limb, back or spinal cord injuries, lacerations, severe burns. Electrocations, turns, ligaments, polytrauma, or multiple body injuries, broken bones. Maritime workers who have been injured on a marine vessels, trailing reef, or platform, or at port, as a result of the equipment's operating negligence, may be able to recover compensation on for your losses. The compensations you may cover will depend on the maritime laws that apply to your case, with its, with its, uh, which is why it is uh, critical that you speak with the experience and knowledge Houston's Maritime Injury Attorney. And then, federal and state maritime laws that may affect you. Maritime cases are complex because different maritime law can apply to a variety of situations and classes of workers. The following federal maritime laws or doctrines may impact 
pure claims. Mersens Merin's Act of 1920, more commonly known as the Jones Act. Alter Continental South Lands Act. Maintenance and Cure. And Seawortiness. Longshore and Harbor Workers Compensation Act. The Tat on the High Seas Act. And then the Pelt Houston Cranes Accident Lawyers. Proper use of cranes, winds, and other tools on a vessel can be complex. These types of works require trainings, experience, skills, and a focus on safety. However, if an employer in Necklands is providing safe working conditions or other lapses in safety occurs, catastrophic maritime accidents may result. The acres require compassionate help from Houston's offshore injury lawyers. The presence of cranes on seagoing vessels is made all the more dangerous by the presence of bulky shipping containers. Having equipment, drilling equipment, fishing nets, and plenty of other complex equipment that are likely to be nearby. Common scenes in Houston's offshore injury cases and other equipment related accidents involving cranes include crushed or amputated limbs, melt, moderate or severe traumatic brain injuries, back or spinal cord injuries, paralysis, torn ligaments, and then, causes of cargo and cranes accidents. Ocean-going vessels, ports, seas, terminals, and oil rings can be as a toss workplace ships heavy equipment and bulky cargo containers are constantly in motion as freighters and loaded and unloaded. Many different types of cranes equipment are used in this line of work, and they can be extraordinary tenders under the wrong circumstances. Well, some cranes.